Hello, my name is Matthew. Welcome to Artisans Interactive Game Dev. Today we're going to be learning a little bit of Construct 2, doing item pickups. Let's jump right in. Alright, let's get started. So, I have linked all the items that we're using in this project in the description box below but feel free to make your own that is perfectly fine all right so we'll need something for our player to then end up colliding into and picking it up all right so we'll insert a new object so right click insert new object and then we will select our sprite this will be the type of object that we'll be showing on screen and we'll call this gold coin. So this could be any sort of item pickup. It doesn't have to be gold coins, but we're using gold coins. It could be potions, it could be um, ammo, armor, health, all sorts of different, uh, different um, items. So we'll insert our gold coin. I'm just going to click off over here and I will get my drawing box. So you can draw and create your own, but I have already got a pre-made gold coin ready to go. So I've uploaded that. I will check by zooming in, checking my glider. My glider looks good looks about center. I am happy, so once I'm happy I can just close that down and there is my gold coin. So if I was to play the game and my player collides with this, nothing will happen. Uh, so we want to create a collision event. So what we can do is we can jump over to our event sheet. So currently in our event sheet we have no functionality going on. So I'm going to go and add event and I'm going to click on our player and I'm going to go next and then we're going to go on collision with another. So you can type it up or you could scroll down the box, I prefer to type on collision with another object, yes, and then we get the chance to click and choose our other object. Our other object will be the coin, then we'll go OK. Done. So now we click and we collide with the coin. What we'll do is we'll add an action. So once we collide with the coin, we will want to remove the coin because that's that's us first picking it up. So we can go to our coin. So add action coin and and destroy. So when we collide with our coin now, it will be destroyed. That's not exactly what we want. We want to also have something like in an inventory or have it add to a value um, so that we can keep record of how many coins we have collected. So the way we're going to do that is jumping back to our event sheet. We're going to create a thing called a variable. This will be a global variable. So right click on the screen and then add global variable and this is going to be our gold coin variable so this will keep record of how many gold coins we have collected and so what we can do is we've destroyed the coin but we'll also add one more action and we are going to go to system. So the system is where we can access our global variables. And 
going to go add two right there. So you can add two, set, or subtract from our variable up there. So we're going to add two, and since we only have one global variable called gold coins, we're going to just do that. And we added one. Perfect. So now if our player collides with the coin, the coin will be destroyed and we will have an add to our global variable, which is perfect. All right, so we'll got a couple more things that we'd like to do. We want to see the coins that we are collecting on the screen. So we're going to create a little UI that is going to represent how many coins that we've collected with the player. Okay. So we're going to right click on the screen, insert new object, and then we'll go to a text variable. We're going to call this gold coin UI. UI stands for user interface, um, but you can just call it whatever you like. Uh, this just works for me. We'll insert. I will click it, and there is our text. So what we can do is we can jot it up into the top corner, and of course we've got our gold coin. If we go down here. We're going to type in um, gold coins, and then I'm just going to type in. A value of a hundred. Now this is just to represent what we're going to show on the screen. It's not going to be what you'll see, but it gives you a good idea at the moment what you'll see. And there's a bunch of interesting things you can do. So you can change the font. So uh, we can go bold and we can pick on the really cool font to use and so try not to spend forever picking a font uh, maybe let's have a look awesome sure we'll do that that looks good and then I'll go make it a bit bigger okay there we go. Gold coins. 100. Perfect. So, uh, this will be kind of what we'd like to have it look like on game. So we'll need to now set this inside our event sheet. Alright, so every time we will collect a gold coin we need to update our UI and we need to make sure that the UI is always collecting this. So what we can do is we can add an event and then we can get our coin and there's a thing happening that's happening every time that our coin will be collected. It is getting destroyed so we can go on destroyed so every time our coin gets destroyed, we will update our UI. So we'll add an action, and then we will go to our gold coin UI text. Go next, and this is where we are going to start setting text. So, we'll type set, text, enter, that's not right, add action, text, set, there we go, 
add action, set text. Now we have uh, a couple of the quotes. Um, so the, inside the quotes will be anything that we want display that's written. So we're going to write gold coin and I'll give it a space. Then after the text, um, outside of those quotes, we're going to put a and symbol, which is uh, shift seven. And now we can type in our variable gold gold coins gold. And as I do so, it will come up with this and we can see the little planet symbol and a gold coin variable. We'll double click on that, auto fill it for us, otherwise you can type in the exact name, press done. Now this only happens when one of the coins is destroyed, so we need to start the game by updating the UI. So we'll also have a another event where we will go through and update our UI. So we'll go to system and start. So on start of layout, we'll also just copy this. So right click, copy, click on this, make sure you highlight the entire strip then we can go paste there we go so now our player will pick up oh nothing happened so this is a uh, one thing that we have to be careful about is to understand the order that we put our um, events in so let's go back to the event sheet and see if we can find out what we have done. So close this down. We'll jump back into our construct 2, go to the event sheet. And as you can see, up the top here, I have gold coin destroy. So what happens when the gold coin gets destroyed? We update the UI text and then we set this afterwards. So what we need to do is click on the gold coin, drag it down and under the adding the one to the gold coin. By doing this we are now adding the value, destroying the coin and updating the text. So this is very important for order uh, so that we can make sure that everything works correctly. So let's press play and give it a shot again. There we go. And there we go. Gold coin and we've collected one. Perfect. So now you can go and just throw in a whole bunch more. We'll like couple down there and then we'll be able to collect our coins. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell icon and I'll see you in the next video.